I live right, literally right by the World Trade Center. I, I walk home. I live above it, actually. My ankle bracelet. Tells the government where I am every second of the day. It was an historic day with Wall Street shaken to its very foundation. And even the health of the most trusted firms are now being called into question. In 2008, I became somewhat obsessed with the role that money itself played in the crisis and the role that governments and banks played in money. And why was it that our money was controlled by central banks? Bitcoin is not neutral. You cannot remove the political component that Satoshi implanted in Bitcoin from Bitcoin. It's what a lot of the people on the Wall Street side try to do. You cannot neutralize Bitcoin. It's impossible. This is a story about money. What if a technological innovation allowed anyone in the world to be their own bank? To create a currency free from taxes and banking fees? Anything can be faked. How do we know that what we're receiving can be trusted? In finance, we rely on trusted third parties like banks, credit card companies, remittance services. They keep track of money as it moves from one account to another, and they charge us handsomely for it. Bitcoin is the most subversive technology on the planet. This is a system that is growing around the entire world. The government, no matter how many guns they draw, cannot change a mathematical problem. They can point their guns at 2 plus 2, but it's always going to equal 4. Welcome to the financial renaissance. Invented in 09 by a fictitious person named Satoshi Nakamoto. Over time, I think Satoshi learned to trust me. My last email to him was telling him that I had agreed to go visit the folks at the CIA.